Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And in this video, I will be discussing the second or part two of Scare Talk for the month of Halloween. And there will be more of them for the month of October. I want to share with you a true story of sleep paralysis and my own real encounter with a sinister looking elf. And as well as other things like Bogarts and Baggies. Or some people would say bogies. The exact the exact pronunciation I really don't know, but anyways. The actual story starts like this. I was asleep in my bed one night. And I might I would say about maybe 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. where this actually happened. There was an evil looking elf in my room. I couldn't move. I was paralyzed. And I felt something standing at the edge of my bed. From the corner of my eye, I was able to see what it was. And this thing started jumping back and forth, side to side of my bed, just jumping. And then it crawled on my bed. I was able to feel the weight. And as it crawled up to me, it just leaned over and, and whispered in my ear, right after he just pulled the covers off me, down to my waistline. He got close to my face, and whispered in my ear, I will always be with you. And then a sinister chuckle, which to this day even haunts me. I, re I reacted violently by trying to elbow him. I just turned and tried to, and tried to elbow him. And he was gone within a fraction of a second. The thing that I found disturbing and also strange was he didn't want me to look at his face. He was very close to mine. In the corner of my eye, I was able to see them, but whenever I tried to look, he would be gone. And when that happened, I was able to move. I looked around and everything was just pretty much normal. It was really a strange event. Another moment happened, another incident happened when I was on my bed, the same typical scenario, except this time there was more than one, and these were Bogarts. They looked like um, ugly little kids, because you could you could actually hear. I was able to hear like the sounds of little kids laughing around my bed, but it was like a demented type of laugh. Like uh, try to imagine a little kid, four or five years old, breathing in a, 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 a balloon fill, filled with helium and that funny voice that, you, that they uh, make when they talk, but they were laughing with that type of voice. There was about maybe four of them around my bed, and they literally just grabbed, just grabbed me from my ankles. They don't grab you anywhere else, not my, from my arm to pull me off the bed, they just grabbed me from my ankles and pulled me off. I was halfway out the bed 
until I started kicking, punching, and screaming to the point that I almost lost my voice. My voice doesn't even carry, and I, and I just screamed, punching and kicking. For those of you who ever experienced something like that, especially fairy beings in the scenario that I just explained, please drop a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. This is something that I really like to talk about, even though this issue doesn't bother me any, anymore. This pretty much ends another edition of Scare Talk for the month of October. And since Halloween's coming up, there's going to be more of them. So until then, take care.